what's up what's up you guys so good morning good afternoon good evening we're gonna be doing this wig from original queen this is like the third time that i've worked with them or the second either way you guys i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys this cute wig really curly I know you guys are checking out this cute bonnet, which I will link the information down below for you guys where I got this from. These are retro bonnets. But in the meantime, I'm gonna cut the lace off the back of this wig and I'm gonna show you how your wig come. Like when we first met, oh, I don't care, it's getting too late. I want you and I can't wait. Don't wanna spend a minute without you. I know you feel the same. So come on, give me love. I'ma show you how to move, how to move with my body. Come hit me with your touch and make me wanna say, damn. And yeah, you know what's up. Ain't nothing I won't do, I won't do for your body So give me all you got right now I know I'm yours, baby So come give me love You know you're my baby So come give me love I never felt nothing quite like this I get a high every time we kiss Can't get enough, baby So come give me love Fake it when I'm with you, my legs go weak. Hey, can you hear it? I think my heart just skipped the beat. Hey, this fifth plan is getting so strong. Love me till the morning, love me all night long. There's something special about you, you're the one that I want. So come on, give me love. I'ma show you how to move, how to move with my body. Come hit me with your touch. And make me wanna say, damn. And yeah, you know what's up. Ain't nothing I won't do, I won't do for your body. So give me all you got right now. I know I'm yours, baby. All right, you guys. So I just went ahead and popped the wig on, but the lace is looking a little bit bright for me. It's a little bit too light. And I did notice that and I wasn't really sure how it was going to blend in my skin once I sprayed my hairspray on it. So I decided to use this right here, which is a waterproof foam tape. I actually purchased this from the 99 cents only store many months ago and really wanted to use it on a wig, but didn't have to. So we're going to try it out this time. So all I did was just take the tape and put it where the part is at in the wig. So it did make a huge difference, a big difference. I'm happy about that. I didn't want it to look too white with the lace in that area and then have to add so much makeup or tinting spray. And also, if you don't have any tinting spray, you can try different methods. So I thought this would work out good. One thing about the foam tape is you'll definitely need to make sure that you press it well into the lace. Another way to make it adhere good to your lace wig is to Tape it onto where you want the part and then apply a washcloth onto the lace and then you can go ahead and put a little heat onto it just to kind of like melt it into the lace. Now I'm gonna just do the usual, which is parting it on the sides and adding my baby hairs and such. This hair is actually really pretty. It's 180% density, Mongolian Jerry Curl, 13 by four inches, 20 inches in length. Like I said, I did work with Original Queen a couple of times before. 
maybe like about over a year ago. And this wig did come out nice, even with the Band-Aid method. I think the Band-Aid method helped it a lot. And as always, I'm just gonna spray my bedhead hairspray onto the lace. I noticed when you use a blow dryer when spraying hairspray, it tends to allow the lace to be more visible versus just spraying the hairspray onto the lace and allowing it to air dry. That's just what I've noticed over many trials and errors, just many different applications with certain lace. Think like with certain lace, it's a lot better just to spray it in small sections and allow it to air dry, just pressing it in with your comb like you, I'm doing here versus adding heat to it. The heat will actually turn the white, the lace white and you'll seem to tend to make it a little bit more visible. Now I know you guys have seen the line of demarcation from the Band-Aid. That's going to be a little tricky, but you know your girl will get through this by just adding a little bit of those baby hairs that I'm cutting and just kind of like swooping them over. Now I'll definitely need to add a little bit of my makeup around the foundation or the hairline of the unit but that's a lot easier than doing it with the part. You can also use a wig lace tinting spray, which I do have as well. But like I said, I bought this foam tape many, many months ago from the 99 cents only store and I wanted to give it a try. I was there one day shopping and I seen it. Now, unfortunately, it doesn't come in different colors, but I'm sure if you do purchase this particular color, you can definitely add foundation onto the tape and give it a more darker color if need be. And I'm just gonna be using my favorite styling mousse, which is from the Dollar Tree, and just sculpt in those baby hairs. You see I'm cheap, a Band-Aid from the 99 cents only store, styling mousse from the Dollar Tree. Like, I love the styling mousse. Bedhead from Amazon, which is really not cheap, but a lot cheaper on Amazon versus in-store. So once I get through with doing all of this, it does make a world of difference for the wig and it makes it look a lot better. I do like the curl pattern a lot. You know, I just use that right there just to lay my baby hairs down while I style the wig. So for this portion of the video, I'm just going to go ahead and look at that part, girl. I'm just going to go ahead and use my spray bottle, which has water and also add it with it is leave-in conditioner, just so that way the hair doesn't dry out. Is very pretty like I said it's Mongolian jerry curl textured or and the pattern is a jerry curl I wouldn't say it's a kinky curl but a tight curl so for first time with this band-aid method I thought it came out pretty decent especially because this was at last minute. And I did bleach the knots of the unit and pre-pluck the hairline prior to doing the install. So in the video, when I did showcase the wig straight out of the packaging, it did need to be bleached and also pre-plucked if that was your preference. And that is what I did using a 30 volume developer and the BW2 bleach. Now this is where I'm going to have to definitely finagle it and finesse the baby hairs as you see my face. So let me take out my edge brush and just get to styling. Now it's not really a huge issue with the sidings because you're not really going to see the parting on the sides, meaning like the hairline because the hair is so full. But I'm still going to go ahead and add a little bit of my pressed powder just to get a little bit of color in the unit as you see me doing here and also adding my makeup back to my own natural hairline because I did have to remove some of the makeup to adhere the, the lace to it. And I'm not trying to be heavy handed because sometimes I get a little carried away 
because I can't see too well. I guess I do need to wear my glasses more often, but I do try to do my best with adding the makeup. That's why I'm real close up on the mirror. And just using my foundation, my pressed powder, did allow me to give it a little bit more seamless and natural look, a little bit more blendability, if that's even a word. But it came out super cute. I think it looks cute, it's full. It's a very summertime friendly. I like the curls in this. You can make it bigger if you want to by just finger curling it. I would say, I would not suggest combing it out, but check Original Queen out. They have some nice wigs. You may have to do your own little uh, magic on it, you know what I'm saying, to make it look your own. But I think I did a damn good job. I hope you guys enjoyed this video tutorial. Your girl Muff is about to sign off. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, share the video with everyone. You know, check out my YouTube page because I have so many more videos that I'm pretty sure you guys would love, such as Dollar Tree Come With Me's, Real Talks, you know, First Impressions, family vlogs and so forth so i love you all check it out what about those lashes you guys aren't they really long like i'm really loving these long lashes but anyway i love you all stay diva and divalicious make sure you rate comment subscribe all of the information will be listed down below for original cream and on that note i got to go bye